Hey there! So Happy New Year! And uh, I was inspired to make a new DIY video uh, because I had invented this machine to make wire spirals and I thought, ooh, wouldn't it be a great idea to make little paper beads with the same type of machine? So after a little bit of trial and error, I perfected the design. So here's the little, the little uh, bead and here's the machine and I'm going to show you how to make it very easily. So I'm going to show you how to make these very cute little paper beads and you can make your own machine to make these paper beads and the materials and tools you're going to need are uh, magazine pages or any kind of paper you want to make the beads out of. This is a good size. To make the tool I'm going to need the yogurt pot and we're also going to need some glue uh, glue stick. This is the lacquer that I put to uh, varnish. You can use any kind of varnish for the beads. We're going to need masking tape, duct tape, we're going to need cutters, flat pliers, round pliers, a hole punch, exacto knife, and the wire we're going to use is a 1.5 millimeter aluminum wire. Uh, any kind of thick wire will do. And a ruler. So, to get started, I'm going to actually show you the original one I made, which was like this with the yogurt pot. So I had actually cut a hole in the bottom to hold it down with a clamp. But for this one, because it's more lightweight what we're doing, I'm not going to use the clamp. Uh, for this original one, it was for um, making wire spirals, and I actually made the part that turns around out of a coat hanger. So this is just sort of a, a sort of a history of how I came up with the idea. So for this one, we're going to take our yogurt pot and we're going to cut two holes. One here, just above the rim. And then the other one will be at the exact opposite side the same height on the yogurt pot. Do a little hole punch like that. So that's how we're going to get started. And then we're actually going to, instead of using the clamp, I'm just going to stick it to the table with duct tape. And I haven't tried this yet, but I'm assuming it's going to work. I've also experimented with filling up the pot up with sand or rocks to make it heavy. Just You just need it to hold its weight down so it won't jiggle around. So I'm going to try it with duct tape now. We're just going to tape it to the table. Okay, and to make the little handle that you wind around, we're going to take our wire. I'm going to cut a piece that's approximately two feet long. You can cut it a little longer if you're not sure. Okay, so we'll cut a piece of our wire and we're going to fold it in half. So we'll go like this. We're going to fold it exactly in half. This end is going to be sort of our handle. So we'll fold it in half. And then if you want to just squish that end down with the flat pliers, you can. This wire is very kind of wobbly, but it's all right, because we're working with paper, it doesn't have to be super, super <laughs> strong. So I'll just go by what I did before. So this is sort of how the tool is going to look. So what we want to do is bend it up, leave a couple inches to hold the handle. So bend it up, bend it down, I got about an inch. It's about a couple inches. This one's about an inch. And we're bending both wires together and we're going to bend it out like that. Okay. And then what you can do is actually measure it on the pot because this is going to be the end you're going to wind and this is going to be the end where you have your beads. So I would leave a good two, three inches here and then we're going to cut it like that. And what we need to do, because you want these wires to kind of stick together a little bit, I just get a little bit of masking tape. And you want to make sure you leave enough of an end to do the bead, 
So I would say an inch and a half or so from the end, we're going to tape it together because we want these two wires to be together. So we'll just wind it around like that. And yeah, so you want these to be as close together as you can. So that's basically your tool. So now we're going to stick the tool into the first hole and then out through the other hole. And so now this is set up to make the beads. And then to make the beads, we're gonna take our paper, I have a cutting board here. You can measure, uh, but it's not super necessary. I just kind of wing it. So you need it to be like a long, long kind of triangle shape. So I'm gonna cut it on a bit of an angle. Like that. And get rid of that side. And then this one, you want this end to be wider than that end. This end is going to be maybe about three quarters of an inch, maybe um, as much as an inch at the most. And you want it, you, it would be ideal to have this sort of an equal, uh, equilateral triangle, but it's not a huge deal if it's not perfect. Okay. And that one just ripped a bit. If it, just be careful that your your exacto knife is nice and sharp, so you get a nice clean uh, cut. So there's our kind of a triangle. And so now we're going to prepare the glue so it's ready, so I don't have to fiddle with it to glue it at the end. So we'll get the glue ready. And we, what we want to do, this is sort of the really important part, is we want the good side, the side you want to show on underneath, and we're going to slide this paper in through the two wires, like that. So we have it slid through the two wires, okay, and then we're going to bend this down a little bit. I would say maybe it's about an eighth of an inch that you're bending down. And now we're going to start twisting it. So you start it by hand, you twist it a little bit, and then you actually get your handle and you twist. You just keep turning, turning, turning. And while you're turning, you're making sure that this end stays centered on the bead. So we're just going to make sure the end stays centered and then when you get say two inches from the end you can actually with your thumb and finger you just kind of make sure you put a bit of glue on there and then we're going to finish and give it a little bit of a pinch like that to make sure the glue the glued end stays and then we're going to just carefully slide it off and there you have your bead all ready to go you can just cut a piece of this wire and actually if you cut this wire long enough you can string a few beads on there so now we're just going to carefully string it back on another wire and then at, at that point you can get your lacquer and just with a paintbrush paint all the way around and then just put this somewhere to dry and then once it's dry it's going to look like these shiny beads.